Hi everybody, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Today um, I'm going to be talking about top coats. A lot of you know I use Annie Sloan chalk paint a lot and I get a lot of questions about do I have to use Annie Sloan wax to seal my piece. So today I'm kind of testing out a product I've never used on a piece of furniture today. We're going to be using the General Finishes High Performance Top Coat in flat. I've got a lot of messages from people saying that you can use this on Annie Sloan chalk paint and then it doesn't yellow and it gives you a little bit more of a durable finish. So today we're gonna compare this side by side with Annie Sloan Wax. So before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified anytime I post a video. If you like what you see in this video, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment and let's jump into the video. Okay, so today we're gonna to be comparing side by side the general finishes high performance top coat that they say you can use with their milk paint. I've never tried their milk paint, but um, we're gonna try it today with any Sloan chalk paint. And then we're gonna compare it side by side with her clear wax, which is something I use a lot at my dining room table sitting right behind me. That's clear waxed. And I've had that in there for like three years now, I think. I don't use that table a lot, but I think that the finish has held up fine. And I enjoy working with wax, but it can be a little scary and intimidating for people. So we're just gonna give you a little option today. So I've already taken this board. Um, it's just an unfinished board. And I've painted it with my Annie Sloan chalk paint in one of my favorite colors, old white. Um, so the reason that I really like using the wax is that it doesn't yellow or change the color of the paint. It deepens it a little bit, but it definitely does not yellow, which you do not want with white. Um, so I've worked with some clear coats before and they tend to change the color and yellow it a little bit. So we're gonna see what this does today. So let's zoom you in and we'll get started. So we're going to start off with the General Finishes High Performance Top Coat. This is a water-based top coat, so it's really easy to clean up. I've used it before um, on my banister project. I'll link that above and in the description if you guys want to check it out. So all you have to do to start off is give it a stir. And my preferred application for this is a foam brush. They're very affordable, and I know I might get some hate for this, um, but I find they apply the, the top coat very well, so why get an expensive brush if it goes on really well with the foam brush? And uh, I've watched a bunch of General Finishes videos too, and they use those a lot for applying this top coat. When you're applying this top coat, you just wanna go with the grain to keep it nice and smooth, keep a wet edge, and when I'm done working in a small section like this, I'll take it all the way from the top down to the bottom just to get rid of those streaks. Um, you wanna apply a thin layer, so as you can see, once this is on, it's pretty shiny and there are brush strokes, but those do disappear a little bit when it dries down and it does dry down flat. Okay, so we're moving on to the Annie Sloan Chalk Paint Wax and Clear. This is one of my tried and trues. I've been using this for years. Um, I have a lot of descriptive videos on this, so I will link those up here in the corner as well in the description box. Okay, so I've grabbed my Annie Sloan wax brush and I'm going to dip that into my wax and just start applying this to the board. Um, similar to the way that I did the top coat, I'm just going to keep this nice and smooth and go with the grain of the wood. And then I'm using my same technique that I always use with this wax and that's taking a lint-free cloth and using very light pressure to get off any excess wax. Okay, so we've got our wax on, we've got our top coat on, I'm going to let them dry and then we will come back in a little bit and check in. The dry time on this General Finishes top coat is two to four hours, so after that time went by, I'm taking this uh, fine steel wool, it is triple zero, and just roughing this up a little bit um, in between coats and I'm going to add a second coat. And I'm going to use the exact same technique that I used on the first coat. General Finishes recommends doing at least three top coats of this high performance top coat. I'm just doing two to save time today and hopefully that'll give us an idea of what the finished project will look like. So here we are 24 hours later with a side by side comparison of the two different products. I took that tape off the middle of the piece of wood just so you could see what the original color of that true Annie Sloan Old White is. Um, as you can see they look very similar um, so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can get a closer peek. So my final thoughts on using the General Finishes Top Coat with the Annie Sloan Chalk Paint, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, side by side next to the Annie Sloan Wax, it is a little bit more yellow than the wax. So if you wanna try to stay really true to that color, I recommend staying with the wax. But for a beginner, this is a really beautiful finish. It did yellow just a little bit, um, but it's nice and hard. It dries a lot faster than the wax. I think it's definitely a lot easier to work with. So if you're just starting out and playing around, this might be a great option for you. Um, I think my next thing that I'm gonna do is 
try it on a little end table I'm doing so that we can see like the whole piece. So I'll get that video up for you guys soon. Um, in the meantime, if there's anything else you want to see, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys soon.